New Mexico is made up of diverse people from locals to transplants and to highlight our state and its people. An organization wants New Mexicans to share their stories. News 13's Rachel Knapp is in the newsplex to explain. Rachel. Jose, it's a spinoff of the well-known Humans of New York series, but instead they're featuring New Mexicans giving locals a voice. I love living here. It's just been where I, I've lived down here my whole life. If you meet someone from New Mexico, they'll be sure to tell you how proud they are to be a New Mexican. Our state has many good qualities. Food, there's a lot of good chili here, hot chili. A lot of historical spots you could visit in the mountains. And it has its issues too. The crime problem here is uh, unfortunately really bad. But to share both the good and the bad, one group is giving New Mexicans a voice. We try to capture the story of everyday Nuevo Mexicanos. It's called Humans of New Mexico, and it's similar to the hit project Humans of New York, giving New Yorkers a platform to share anything they want. It was an inspiration. However, ours is a little bit more extensive, much more oral history based. Well, that's Sounds really cool. I mean, it's a really wonderful place to be here. Everybody has a unique story to tell. Regular New Mexicans like Jake, Mercedes, even Don Schrader have contributed to this project, sharing everything from tensions on tribal land to childhood stories and even art. No topic is off limits. But I chose to do something different. I chose to heal. I chose to stop drinking and I chose to get into my passions, bicycling, gardening and art. I remember sitting in a classroom and you know, having a teacher tell me like my poem isn't an A plus poem because it's too burqueño, it's too Spanish, it's too Mexican, it's too hip hop, it's too you know what I mean. And then coming to a community where all of that is embraced, giving voices to ordinary people, sharing extraordinary stories. The highlight with the project is being able to highlight the greatness that does exist here in New Mexico. We have a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of creativity, a wealth of history, a wealth of culture. The project has been around for a few years, but recently went on hold. The group behind it is looking for easier ways to find stories to share weekly. Lizze. Okay, Rachel, if you want to be part of the Humans of New Mexico, or if you want to nominate someone, you can visit alwaysonkrqe.com.